What's up, guys? Just a quick message here, uh, and a thanks, really, to uh, my man at Nocturnal News. What's up, guys? This is Tyler with Secure Team 10. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving, and I also hope you didn't get abducted by aliens. So, hope you enjoyed some turkey, and uh, enjoy your Christmas. Hey, what is up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team 10, wishing you happy holidays and a very Merry Christmas. Stay safe, guys. All right, Nocturnal News. Welcome, my friends. Thank you for being here. Now, remember, in a recent video, um, I showed you guys these photographs right here, and I said I'm going to give you the full breakdown in a video to come. Well, here is that video. So again, thank you for being being here. Now, um, a Nocturnal News subscriber sent me these three photographs of this anomaly uh, in the sky uh, out of Minnesota. Now, of course, you know the first thing I did was I went to find the exact location the photographs th that they were taken at. And now, uh, the person, I'm going to keep her anonymous, I have spoken to her, uh, told me exactly where they were taken. So I go to Google Maps, and the first thing I noticed was this baseball field, this CHS baseball stadium. And immediately I thought, ah, okay, it's the stadium lights, you know, um, reflecting off the glass. Now, she was the passenger in a, in a vehicle, in a car. And something prompted her to take the photographs and then later discovered there was these anomalies in the photograph. So again, I found the exact location. Okay, right here, you got the Lafayette Bridge going into, I believe it's pronounced St. Paul, Minnesota. And you see right there, CHS Field. And again, I lined up the, the, the photos perfectly and I started looking around to try to figure out what this anomaly could be. Now, at first I thought, stadium lights right it's always stadium lights but in this case i don't think it is because it looks nothing like the stadium lights right there um, of course i turned the contrast up there i tried to manipulate the photograph to make it look like her photographs and i simply couldn't um, and then i thought okay well let me just overlay her pictures with, with a picture of the stadium so there's picture number one okay right there uh, photograph number two coming up right there. Now photograph number three to the left right there. And you'll see they line up perfect. I mean, you see the little red light at the top of the building right there. And you see the red light in my overlay. Okay, you see the kind of the orange brick building in the background. Uh, so I lined them up perfect. And I don't think it is the stadium lights. Now there, there's also a few other lights in the stadium. But they're kind of round like your typical you know highway lamp or something like that so you know I, I just did everything i could to debunk this and i failed i mean that i just don't have an explanation for this it's truly unexplainable okay right here another overlay uh of course i turned up the brightness and the contrast on her photograph and, and, and again <laughs> i just kept going back to this thinking it's got to be something reflecting right but it's not um I mean, it, it, at least in my opinion, it does. It just doesn't line up. You see one, two, three, four, what, seven or eight points of light right there in her photograph. And then there's like 20 on, on this, you know, uh, these stadium lights. Then I thought, well, could it be the interior light from the car reflecting off the glass? And that's a possibility. But the eyewitness said, OK, and I believe her that nothing was reflecting off the glass. OK, she took the photograph, something prompted her to take it. I don't know what, you know, she just took the picture and later discovered the anomaly. Now, we've seen this before. OK, and uh, <laughs> what you're looking at there is basically lights in a kitchen reflecting off the glass. And it looks like ufos okay i'm just i just want to give you examples of of this happening okay right there again that's um a light on the ceiling that looks like a ufo or something in the sky but 
you know, it's an optical illusion created by the glass. Uh, the light's reflecting off the glass. Take a photo of the glass, and it looks like something in the sky. But again, in this case, I have not been able to to prove that. And trust me, I tried. I even tried to, you know, Photoshop the photos of the stadium that I found on Google Maps. And um, I can't get it to look like her fo photograph, okay? And if I can't do it, I highly doubt, you know, this person could. So uh, what I'm getting at is I think they are real, authentic pictures. Now, right here, that's a crane in the sky. Um, again, just another example of how easy it is to confuse uh, these reflections with UFOs. Okay, and then it reminded me of, of, of these photos right here. Now, these are from some random YouTube channel. I found these like two years ago. Uh, they do like homesteading and gardening and all this different type of stuff. And they had a camera, uh, you know, pointed at the sky and, they, and they, they captured this anomaly. So it reminded me of this. Now, there was another famous case uh, that looked almost identical to this as well. Also, the NASA satellite that's currently orbiting the sun, okay, another anomaly that looks almost identical to her photograph. So, you know, we've seen these UAPs before, um, or these unknown objects, let's call it that, right? And, and uh, you know, it can't be a coincidence. So I thought this looked almost identical to her photograph, and I thought that was pretty amazing. Okay, now I want you to take a look at this. Okay, check this out, guys. Uh, again, this is the NASA satellite currently orbiting the sun. And again, it looks, uh, you know, not identical, but very similar. Okay, we'll call it very similar uh, to her photographs. And, and let me just take a minute to tell her thank you. You know, it's uh, it's brave really to, you know, trust people to analyze their photographs and not ridicule them or make fun of them or anything like that. Um, you know, because we do take uh, this topic very serious here at, at Nocturnal News. And, you know, I will always protect uh, the, 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 the eyewitnesses. So thank you again to our, our new friend. And, and again, I won't say her name. Okay, so right here, just another look at the overlay. You can see it lines up just almost perfect, really. Uh, you see the red light in the middle there. Okay, the two buildings, the smaller one to the left, higher one to the right, and then the that orange building over there to the left above the CHS field uh, sign out there on the ball field. Okay, and these, okay, uh, just again, I, full transparency, I did manipulate the color and contrast just to bring out details, but we will have a look at the original photos here in, in just one minute. Okay, I just want you guys to take a good good look at this. Um, okay, now here are the originals right there. Okay, again, this was taken or taken from the passenger seat of a vehicle. Okay, uh, Lafayette Bridge, Minnesota, going into downtown. And you can see that whatever this object is, it's moving, okay? Right there, it's kind of above the, the building with the red light or in the middle. And, and you can see in the three photographs, it's, it's in a different spot. Now, the only thing that could possibly debunk this video would be it's something reflecting from inside the vehicle. That's the only thing. And on a side note, in fact, there's been a lot of, uh, I would say, very famous UFO cases out of Minnesota. Uh, for example, in November 1979, Val Johnson, a 36-year-old deputy marshal, or deputy sheriff rather, reported being engulfed by a flash of light while patrolling Minnesota Highway 220 near Stephen in the northwest corner of the state the evening of august 27th 1979 okay just an example now uh this is just a quick screenshot from the conversation i had with this person again i would never reveal any private information um but this is you know i think pretty mundane here uh, goes on to say i believe it was july 5th about 8 p 8 p.m in downtown st paul minnesota Okay, so in closing, how would I categorize this particular UFO case? I don't know. It's un it's unsolved, right? Uh, I can't debunk it. I can't confirm it either way. I do believe it is authentic in terms of the person that took the photo, um, you know, felt prompted again to take the photo and later realized there was something going on. Now, also, I've been in direct contact with this person for probably about a week now 
and I don't want to reveal too much about what we talk about in private, but it's basically kind of led me to believe her even more. Um, there's been multiple sightings, multiple videos, multiple photos, and uh, this person seems to be, or seems to have a connection with uh, this, you know, I guess we could call it a non-human intelligence or an unknown, okay, at a bare minimum. Okay, so again, without revealing too much, I mean, maybe I can have her on the channel and let her explain, uh, you know, what happens in her personal life in terms of contact. Um, but I don't want to do that, um, you know, without her express permission. So, um, you know, that's important. So, all right, guys, look, leave a comment below. Please tell me, what do you think? What do you make of this? I put a lot of hard work into this video. Um, and again, I wasn't able to debunk it. Uh, I can confirm the pictures are real. They're not Photoshopped. They have not been manipulated. I, I don't think it's, you know, anything reflecting off the glass, nothing like that. And if it is, I can't prove it one way or the other. So again, this one is going in the unexplainable file. So there you go. And, uh, and a big thank you to the person that sent these to me, um, you know, and, and wanting me to debunk them. But I simply could not. So again, thank you to everyone involved in this uh, UFO case. Again, please leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next one.